This is a review of the theory of continuous functions. We say that a function is continuous if its graph can be drawn without having to lift the pen from the paper. This is a heuristic approach to continuity. Continuous functions have important properties. The intermediate value theorem says that if a function is continuous on an interval, then it takes any value between any two of its values. Another important theorem says that if a function is continuous on a closed interval, then it takes its maximum and minimum values on that interval. These two results have important consequences and uh, they rely on the completeness of the set of real numbers. These are deep theorems. To uh, discuss these theorems, it is necessary to have a slightly more rigorous view of continuity than the one that I just gave. We say that a function f is continuous at a point x equals x0 if it has a limit at that point and if that limit agrees with the value of the function. Then we say that a function f is continuous on an open interval from a to b if it is continuous at each point of this open interval. We need the concept of left continuity and right continuity. We say that function is left continuous or continuous from the left at a point x equals x0 if it has left hand limit at that point. That is, if the numbers f of x have limit as x approaches x0 through numbers which are smaller than x0. And if that limit agrees with the value of the function at x0, then the function is said to be left continuous at x0. Likewise, it is right continuous at x0 if it has right hand limit at x0, that is, if uh, the numbers f of x have a limit as x approaches x0 through numbers larger than x0, and if this limit agrees with the value of the function at x0. Clearly, if a function is both left and right continuous at the point, then it is continuous. And vice versa, if a function is continuous at a point, then it is also left continuous and right continuous. We say that a function is continuous on a closed interval from A to B if it is continuous on the corresponding open interval from A to B and uh, right continuous at A and left continuous at B. Functions have the following properties. If f and g are continuous at x equals x0, then also f plus g, f minus g, and f times g are continuous, and the function f divided by g is continuous also, assuming that g at x0 is not 0, that is, assuming that f divided by g can be defined at x equals x0. Then the following types of functions are continuous in their domains, polynomials and rational functions, root functions, trigonometric functions and their inverses, exponential functions and their inverses. Inverses of exponential functions are logarithmic functions. These functions are all continuous where they are defined. If f is continuous at b, and the limit of g of x as x approaches a is b, then a limit of f composed with g evaluated at x as x approaches a is f evaluated at limit of g of x as x approaches a, and this is f at b. From this it follows that if g is continuous at a and f is continuous at g of a, then the composed function f composed with g is continuous at a. So composed functions of continuous functions are continuous functions. The intermediate value theorem says that if f is continuous on an interval from a to b, and uh, t is a number between f at a and f at b, then there is a number c between a and b such that f at c equals t. This is a deep result with important consequences.
For t equals zero, this intermediate value theorem is also known as Bolzano's theorem. Rigorous definition of continuity is the following. A function f is continuous at x equals x zero if um, for any positive number epsilon we can always find a positive number delta such that whenever x minus x zero is of absolute value less than delta then f of x minus f of x zero is of absolute value less than epsilon. This is a rigorous definition of continuity on which all properties of continuous functions are based. Now I recommend that you go and uh, study the problems, the sample solved problems. They help you to understand when functions are continuous and what to do with continuous functions. This is an important topic. Good luck!